dear learners today we are going to discuss with buckle drug delivery system i dr ashlesha pandit is going to discuss with you buckle drug delivery system after discussion of this topic the learners will be able to explain the concept of buckle drug delivery system apply knowledge to transport of drug through buckle mucosa design buckle dosage forms through proper selection of drug to start with first of all we will discuss the oral cavity oral cavity consists of lip upper lip and lower lip palate which consist of hard palate and soft palate gum which is called as gingiva cheeks which is surrounding the portion of the oral cavity and tongue oral cavity also consist of three important glands that is parotid gland sublingual gland and submandibular gland these glands continuously secrete the saliva in the oral cavity which keeps the oral cavity moist the oral cavity is highly vascularized area the blood supply to oral cavity is carried out through various arteries the main arteries which supplies the blood are maxillary artery facial artery and lingual artery these three arteries are connected through a artery called external carotid artery which further connects to common carotid artery so we can see here that the oral cavity is highly vascularized area which is provided with the continuous supply of blood capillaries now students will see what are the various dosage forms that are <clears throat> administered through buccal root the dosage forms which are administered through buccal root are buccal tablets or mini tablets buccal films and buccal gel these dosage forms are kept in between the gum and the cheeks or between the gum and the teeth now we'll see how the drug is transported through oral cavity here we are considering one buccal tablet the buccal tablet is kept at the lining of the cheek and the gum the buccal tablet absorbs the moisture or the saliva which is present in the oral cavity the tablet gets softened and the drug is transported via buccal lining the drug is transported through the buccal lining either by paracellular pathway or transcellular pathway the drug then permeates through this buccal lining into the surrounding capillaries by passive diffusion method the main capillaries involved are maxillary facial which connects to form internal jugular the drug enters into the systemic circulation via this internal jugular vein and then it it is circulated into the body students here you observe that there is no involvement of any gastrointestinal tract that is why we can say that buccal drug delivery avoids first pass metabolism once the drug enters into the circulation it is then circulated through the body so the buccal drug delivery avoids first pass metabolism as the steps which are involved in the oral drug delivery are avoided such as disintegration dissolution hepatic metabolism so we can achieve the rapid systemic absorption using buccal drug delivery system dear students with the help of till this knowledge which we now discuss write down the criteria for selection of the drug for formulation of the dosage form through oral cavity think on this question the base on the base which we now discuss pause the video 
and write your answer in your copy. Students, now you are ready with your answer. Play the video and check your answer matches with the answer in this video. The criteria for selection of the drug through Buckel Drug Delivery System are as follows. The main criteria is the dose of the drug should be less. If the dose of the drug is high, the dosage form will be of larger size and that will be inconvenient for the patient to put such a dosage form in the oral cavity for time, for longer period of time. The drug should have a low molecular weight, preferably less than 400 Dalton and prefer 100 Dalton. The drug must have a high permeability so that the drug can cross the buccal linings. If the drug is having a good water solubility, it can cross the buccal lining easily. Lastly, the drug should not be bitter because the Formulation remains in the oral cavity for a longer period of time and if the drug is bitter then it will not be accepted by the patient. Now we will see what are the benefits of buccal drug delivery system. Buccal drug delivery system has ease of access to systemic circulation because there is no involvement of gastrointestinal tract. Drug from buccal epithelium enters into the jugular vein, so the systemic absorption is faster. It avoids the first pass metabolism in the liver which occurs in otherwise oral drug delivery system. So these points causes the buccal drug delivery system with a rapid onset of action. Termination of therapy at any time is possible in buccal drug delivery system because the dosage form remains in the mouth or oral cavity. If the patient is uncomfortable with the dosage form, he or she can immediately terminate the dosage form. This is painless administration as no injection or any pain is involved. And lastly, by achieving this, we are achieving the patient compliance. To conclude with the topic, in this topic, we discuss the concept of drug transport through buccal drug delivery system, criteria for selection of drug through buccal route, and benefits of buccal route. Thank you.